this is the first lecture to introduction to python introduction to python uh, basic syntax of python and uh, in this we are going to know how to uh, learn uh, python and uh, it is the saying uh, the best way to learn a language is to learn, uh, speak with the natives and say here we are uh, speaking with the natives just kidding then what is the python python is uh, basically a high level programming language it is a uh, interpreted language it is so easy to code uh, that everyone can learn it in, in a short period of time and uh, it's uh, applications are quite huge it can be used in a large uh, applications and uh, but uh, <clears throat> there are uh, some advantages and disadvantages advantages are that uh, it uh, it is easy to program and uh, it uh, reduces effort time and uh, and uh, somehow you can say that uh, it will ease uh, your effort due to its built-in modules and uh, disadvantages are that uh, it is uh, an interpreted language and it compiles the program uh, one by one it, uh, means that your program your lines will interpret step by step and it will compile all uh, run all the variables and uh, everything on during the runtime which make it slower language but uh, it also have a lot of advantages basic syntax has some uh, rules but uh, not so difficult like uh, c++ c java etc it's uh, basic, basic syntax uh, have uh, and like i have given the example my string is equal to hello world and it will uh, and if you simply input uh, my string it will give you an output you can get an output from the uh, python interpreter just by calling its variable name and also one of the important thing that uh, you don't need to uh, call uh, provide an uh, data type that uh, it's an int it's a string a string or it's a character python has the ability to detect whether it is a string, whether it is an integer, whether it is a float or dictionary and anything boolean value. It will detect itself that uh, this value is an integer, this value uh, is a string, this value is a float, this value is a list and this is a value, uh, boolean value. It don't care about uh, that you declare it's an int, it's an stringer, uh, etc. Uh, arithmetic operators are as always the same as in the other languages and addition, subtraction, multiplication, don't care about that. Then uh, uh, we have uh, <coughs> a basic example of using a, and, uh, arithmetic operator. Here we use uh, addition operator and uh, here we using division operator and you can see the result output over here. And also, you, the basic uh, basic values that is uh, giving our uh, output just by a print statement. Comparison operators, uh, nothing so much difficult. We can uh, see that uh, it's a greater than value, less than, greater than equal to, and uh, exactly equal to, less than equal to. Then uh, we have an example and uh, here you can see that these are variables are uh, not the data types declared that it's an int and it's a float just for understanding we uh, provided with int variable float variable and something else and uh, if int variable is greater than float variable here we have 5 and uh, 3.2 5 is greater than this then uh, output will be uh, 5 uh, output will be yes Next, uh, working with the strings in uh, strings in Python, uh, anything in the quotation marks uh, that is here you can see that anything in the quotation mark will be marked as a string. Either it's a number or anything else, it's a float value or anything else, it will uh, say that uh, it's a string value. <coughs> and uh, here we are uh, getting its. Uh, uh, 
index value or that uh, where, whether which word which alphabet is lying on that index its index basically starts with 0 and uh, here we have minus 1 which shows that uh, it, it will print the last uh, character of the string that is this one and uh, also you can replace uh, your uh, word in a, uh, in a statement in a string by just uh, replace statement in the first statement we have a uh, hello Leo then uh, we are we replaced hello uh, Leo with class simply that is and the next step is uh, indexing indexing uh, I already told you start with a zero in um, almost all every pro programming languages and uh, for the first uh, characters uh, of our string we just uh, printed uh, we just provided it's, uh, it's an index 0 and it will output D that shows the uh, first element first character of our string is D and that's the end uh, I hope you understand we'll see in the next lecture